More than 225,000 people have died in the U.S. during the COVID pandemic, but their deaths are not necessarily related to the virus. That's according to a new VCU study that says excess deaths will continue if proactive measures are not taken. Our Tracy Sears has that story. For every two deaths attributed to COVID-19, a third American dies as a result of the pandemic. That's according to a new study led by researchers at Virginia Commonwealth University who found deaths nationwide between March 1st and August 1st increased 20% compared to previous years. While not surprising for a pandemic, Dr. Stephen Wolf says the study found only 67% of those deaths were caused by COVID-19. These excess deaths are disproportionately impacting people of color um, and low-income populations. The study found deaths from dementia and heart disease significantly increased. Doctors believe people with acute emergencies and chronic diseases like diabetes that weren't properly cared for also fell victim. If the trend continues, researchers say the U.S. could see more than 400,000 excess deaths by the end of 2020. We worry that the prevalence of chronic diseases or complications from some of these problems may be long lasting. You see people who have had strokes, uh, heart attacks, and I asked them, so well, why didn't you come into the emergency department sooner you know, or seek help because you think they're having an emergency? And, and there was this overall fear of coming to the hospital uh, for fear of getting COVID or, or getting potentially sicker. Emergency so physician know, Dr. Bruce Lowe says staff shortages and the lack of PPE, while improving, have also hurt patients' timely access to health care. I think the most important thing is uh, for people to realize, because a lot of people don't realize that they can do things via telehealth or there are alternative ways to seek routine medical care. How each state responds to the pandemic can also play a role. The study, Wolf says, saw more excess deaths in states that experienced a surge in COVID cases. The dilemma here is that without a robust response to control community spread and to keep the virus from uh, passing uh, through the community, um, those kinds of uh, in, uh, restrictions are necessary. Um, and what we see in our data is that states that chose to ease those restrictions and reopen early saw not only more excess deaths, but a protracted surge that lasted months. Doctors say it's important to keep on top of routine medical checkups and to seek help immediately if you're experiencing an emergency or having some sort of problem. Reporting in Richmond, Tracy Sears, CBS 6 News.